What's going on, everybody? This is VJ Hunt from the Hunt Family Farm. And here is a follow-up from yesterday's video. Um, we started with the, the fire. Um, that was one of the big things. We're trying to burn and clean up some of the areas so that we can finish our fence. We put a couple of posts, a few of the posts, fence posts in the ground, um, our corner posts and all of that. And today, I want to show you guys the aftermath of the burn, the big burn, and just what our plans are. We're going to feed the animals, obviously. That's number one always. Then I'll go show you that. So, unfortunately, I, we have a injured sheep. I swear she knows what I'm talking. But she ended up hurting her leg yesterday. I don't know how. Um... I'm gonna make her get up and try to walk a little bit. Um, I know it, it's painful for her to kind of put pressure on it, but I, yesterday when she was hurting, I made her get up and she started moving around and she's moving around a little bit better. I think if she lays on it, it's gonna become stiff. It seems more like a sprain. I don't think it's a break, but you don't, don't really know. I don't wanna call a vet out just yet because if it's a sprain, then you know it'll heal with time but she's still eating she's still moving around so it starts to take a turn for the worse definitely got to get the vet involved Dang, okay, so she's not hurt. She's actually up, um, which is it's a great thing. Yesterday she could barely walk. Now she can move around, so thank God. Um, she's feeling okay. I'm gonna give some of the donkeys these sweet potatoes. They're not really fans of the... They're not really fans of the, the other stuff, so... I'm gonna get him that. She's not gonna. I'm gonna give him that and then we'll kind of. We got them a little bit of the mix. Funny thing is about the donkeys is they don't, like they don't eat the same exact stuff that the sheep like. So like some of the leafier greens like lettuce, they're not big fans of. Um, collards and kale. They don't really eat that stuff, but they do love celery. They love onions and they love sweet potatoes. And so they will eat that and they'll enjoy that. But now we're getting over to this burn pile. So, well, I can see my dad's been out here doing work. Good for him. Um, but he's added more to the breast pile. We, yeah, it'd be a great time for you to like go back and look at that. You saw how big the pile was. We cut this tree down. We're still gonna pull that out. But the pile was huge. Yesterday it rained, but it was a great day for, um, it's a great day for burning because it wasn't very windy and it was wet. So the fire could kind of be controlled and contained. And we burned up most of the stuff here. This is all new stuff. What my dad did was, he went through and cut up a bunch of little like shrubs and things in here yesterday. Uh, he cut that limb down. So our goal is to kind of clear this whole area out. This is kind of their home and that's a fence that runs along in there. We're gonna take that whole fence out. We're gonna take the fence out on the other side and we're gonna expand this whole area. So we're gonna go from this gate that we just went through up into this pole that's gonna be one side of it so the current space for where our sheep are living um during like their lambing season and 
when we need them close, we're going to trip. We probably going to, it's probably going to triple the size of their, that space, um, which will allow for us to then expand our, our flock of sheep. And also we can bring in other animals like goats, which I know a lot of people are asking about. We want to be able to have a space to securely bring them in um, before we like release them into the big pasture because we got all of this pasture here and then and then it runs up there. And so I kind of just walked back to this back corner. I feel like I'm doing a hell of a lot of talking. But here's the other post and we're gonna run it up to, to those posts up here. And then it'll run back up to where you've seen the string in the other video. So we're working hard to get it done by maybe within the next month. I do work a full-time job, so it does make things a little tough. Um, I can't get out here every day like I want to. So we're gonna keep working and keep plugging away at it. Um, we're now gonna go over, check on the cows, get a chance to see the chickens, see what they up to. And you can kind of see some of the other expansions that we're making over on the other side of the farm. All right, so we're on the other side of the farm. Um, over here where the chickens and the cows are, the processing facility, all of that. Um, I know you guys talked, heard about the egg shortage. I'm probably sure that you've seen the effects of the egg shortage. And so what we did, we bought some more egg layers. So here are our bitties, little bitties. The next generation of egg layers here at the Hunt Family Farm. Um, the temperature in here is right at about 70 degrees. So, um, and they, they are about three, three weeks. So I think this group is a little older than this group. Yeah, we got that going on here. We currently have about, 75 to well maybe it's more than that actually it's probably close to 100 egg layers we have this space um and i kind of showed you guys in a previous video but we planted grass so where these chickens are living right now they like they eat all of the grass out of that one spot and this is not all of them a lot of them are in the house um in here so let you guys get a look in. Check it out. All of the chickens. So, um, chickens are grazers, just like cows chickens i mean cows and everything else but they also do eat protein or eat meat so they eat bugs hey they'll eat each other if one of them dies that's just kind of how chickens operate but we planted the grass and as you can see it's starting to come up a little bit um we had some warmer days which um will help with grass growth uh, but we planted the grass um they can go now go out there saw that in the previous video but they they seem to be doing good they're coming all coming outside now because they think i got some vegetables or something but i don't all right here's a really cool addition that we've made um to this shed so uh this shed once housed those bees that showed up our i think it was in a video before but we cleaned out everything from under here laid the concrete down um we have a sink now um is it hooked up yet yep we're running water um and so this space will be used for after we pick vegetables a place to to wash and clean vegetables when you when you get them out of the field we have spot across the road where we grow vegetables. Um, so we'll be able to process some stuff here. We got this metal table, refrigerators, of course, 
It's a place where you, place where we can wash and clean the eggs outside. So they'll go directly from the so they'll go directly from the chickens to this wash station. They'll be packaged, and we won't have to um, we won't have to carry them as far. Carry them in. Just makes the operation a lot more efficient and utilize some of the space. So we're gonna go check on our wagyu calves. Um, they're looking really good. The market for beef right now is great to sell, but we're gonna probably try to hold on to a few to grow them all the way out. So we out here with the cows. The goal is I want you guys to get a uh, chance to kind of look at the, the Wagyu calves that we have. Some people may follow us. The market right now for cattle has gone up. Um, it's just like I said in previous videos in the stock market, she has your peaks and your valleys. And so right now we have some decisions that we have to make on our calves. So you see like this calf right here, where is he? Right here, straight ahead of him. He's at a he's at an ideal size for us to take to the market. This bull, he's ideal. All of these, everything but the red cow, but all of these are for our cow calf operation are at the they're at the peak moment to take to the market. But we will get the most money per pound um, per animal. So, like she she would be a great one to take. Um, he would be a great one to take. But then we have this dilemma. Um, do we take them and we grow them out? And that's one of the questions that we have. Some of the things we're going to look at business-wise and, and make it make those decisions. But that's kind of part of farming um, that you have to follow the trends. You have to sell when it's high, hold on to it when it's low. Because we could be in a situation where six months from now everything drops and we get little to nothing for them. for what would have made us a lot of money um you know we hold on to them for six months it may be a situation where the the stock or the demand for them fall and then now the prices are a bottom now and we don't make anything so get this gate back so those are all like little strategic things that come with farming being a little bit lucky, um, being a good business savvy person, following trends, following your gut. Um, you know, some people may at this point, because the market is so high, go ahead and sell everything. Some people may do that, um, but then it's hard to get back in it because everything is so high. So it's kind of one of those balances. Uh, one of the things that we go through here as farmers. Um, but that's all I have for today. It's a quick little update on what's going on. Um, and until next time, peace out.